Um, so we're going to start with uh, Vera. Um, so we're starting in Portugal in the Vino Verde region. So this is um, the largest region and it gets the most precipitation. So if you're looking at um, Portugal and the Vino Verde region, you see that it borders Spain. So Galicia or Galicia, green Spain is um, basically the same idea. It gets the most precipitation. It's the most verdant. So we're on the Atlantic side of, of Spain and Portugal, and um, you, it, it's the, the greenest. So Vino Verde, the Verde is uh, green, and this is, um, again, the largest DO, and typically a style of wine. So it's not necessarily one grape variety. Um, it's often a blend uh, and where you have a little bit of spritz. So the Vera is the one of the very first wines in our Portuguese portfolio. And um, it's from 104 different plots in, in Vino Verde, um, right near the Minu Valley. And uh, it's a blend of different grape varieties. Uh, we saw there Arintu, Azal, and Lujeru. And this is um, the traditional pergola system for Vera. So you're going to, if you're tasting a couple of the different wines um, uh, that, uh, that, um, are you know offered uh, Nortico is um, a, a slightly different system, but Vera is the traditional pergola system, where it's the higher um, the vines are planted basically on a, a trellising system that allows for um, ventilation. So that if in areas where you get a lot of precipitation, part of the the challenge can be that there can be some mold. So, um, you know, with that kind of damp condition, so lifting um, the vines up and, uh, and canopy management can create ventilation um, and really good sun exposure. So Vera is that traditional system of um, pergola um, high uh, the, where the vines are on a trellising system above your head. And that also allows for any crops to be uh, underneath. So a lot of times you'll actually see dual purpose. You'll see um, legumes, like things like um, uh, peas and things like that, and fennel underneath. And some of those plants return nitrogen to the soil. So it's, it's actually um, functional uh, in, in many ways. Um, so this part of the world, um, again, you have... Uh, um, you have uh, a, a, the, the pergola system, um, a lot of precipitation from and maritime influence um, and granite soil, literally like a granite countertop, like that really hard um, granite, uh, granitic soil. So um, there's a minerality to the wine and often kind of a, um, a little bit of a briny character as well. So um, they're, they're really fun, fun wines. Vera is um, stainless steel, so no oak, clean, fresh, bright. Um, and what makes Vera kind of slightly different than some other Vino Verdes on the market is that it's about 12, 12, 12 12.5% alcohol. So it's fermented a little bit more. So there's a little bit less residual sugar. A lot of times in Vino Verde, they can be around 9% alcohol, 10% alcohol, but have a little bit more sweetness. They'll have a little bit more leftover grape sugar in them. And Vera is fermented um, almost to dryness, basically, so that it, you get that spritz, you get that texture, you get the aromatics from Lurero, that white floral note to it, the citrus note, um, that salinity that, you know, uh, that comes from the, the coastal influence, um, but you don't necessarily get the residual sweetness. You get uh, the, you know, a lot of fruit, um, but you don't necessarily get uh, the, the, the sweetness to it. So a little, um, the, the carbonation, the spritz, is um, meant to be kind of a lower uh, spritz to it. And again, um, more focusing on kind of that, you know, fun, easy style, um, but not necessarily, um, uh, not necessarily the sweetness. It's more about the, the fruit, that bright um, citrus note, that uh, lemon and um, a little bit of grapefruit, but um, more kind of that apple note. Um, and again, um, you know, star fruit and, and that bright vitality that comes from uh, the, the granite soil and that, that minerality that shows through. So it's a, it's a fun wine for us. It's, um, you know, a porch pounder in that sense. It's a screw cap. It's easy. Um, but it was also, again, one of the first wines that, the, that started, launched our, our Portuguese portfolio 
uh, and vera means truth. So the the gentleman that brings in our Portuguese portfolio was actually comes from a family of diplomats. So we uh, Cassatius um, was was the Portuguese ambassador to Argentina, and his job was to find high quality goods from to to export based to uh, Argentina. So with that, he met a lot of really amazing winemakers and kind of got into this, the wine trade that way, got, got pulled in. So um, we're very fortunate to have Rui head up the portfolio from Portugal. Um, and what he wanted to do was bring over um, a, a style of vino verde that you see more and more in Portugal, but you weren't seeing as much uh, in the U.S., and that was in 2013, 2014, and now you, you see the style uh, uh, a lot more where, um, you know, the, it's a, just a little bit higher quality estate um, vino verde, but it's still that style with texture, um, really versatile for food pairings, um, so uh, the, the vera for us is, um, you know, very indicative of a, the particular style where you have that effervescence and just that lightness and, um, you know, aromatic uh, intensity and just kind of the joy of, um, you know, having a beverage that uh, is, you know, not high octane in that sense, but that is, you know, well-crafted. So um, I don't know if you, again, if you have any comments or about, you know, Vera in general, or just, um, you know, Vino Verde, your, your uh, interactions with the, the wines from that uh, region, um, you know, please feel free to, to chat. Yeah. Have, um, have many of you guys had, uh, vino verde before? Um, a little show of hands. Yeah. Um, I just, I think that this wine is so refreshing and so perfect for summer. I mean, it just has that nice spritzy, um, kind of texture to it. It's not overwhelmingly bubbly, but also you get this really nice crisp fruit profile. Um, I, uh, yeah. And like Molly said, I mean, I, I would love to sit outside and drink this on a porch. So, <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, no, it's, it's great that uh, a lot of people have had some vino verde and, um, I think that lends itself to, yeah, rolling into the, into the Nordico as well. Um, 